morning. Time to make some coffee. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it because everyone's always asking is what is that fancy looking beaker and or carafe on your counter? And that is called the Chemex. So how do you make coffee? What do you use? What do you do? What are the steps? Step one is taking this one, the one that you buy with the wood collar. You're gonna go over here. And you're gonna throw it in the garbage because the wood collar one sucks and you wanna get the one with the handle. That's the one you want, because you can put it in the dishwasher, it's easy to serve and pour, and this is where you get started. Fully didn't plan for that to break and smash, so give me one second while I clean up all this broken glass. <laughs> to accompany your brand new Chemex with the handle, you are going to need Chemex filters. Now this is kind of where the magic lies. It's gonna filter out all the stuff that we don't want in our coffee, leaving us with a come out. Leaving us with a nice, clean, delicious, well-rounded cup. Now a trick that I learned back at the beginning is let's say you wanted some notes of peanut butter and you wanna start by spreading it on the outer walls of the filter. Not a whole lot. So that just kinda of goes in. Now this might just be because I'm Canadian, but I think it adds a nice little hit of flavor if you just coat the inside of the filter with a little bit of syrup. Just like that, you see? See what we're working with in there? Next up, we got the beans. Now, it depends what kind of coffee you like. I like a lighter coffee, like a light roast. And I found that to get the lightest roast, you don't even grind the beans. So just like one, two, three, four. So we got some steaming water here. Steaming water, <laughs> boiling water. You might see a lot of people pouring in, in a circular motion when they're making a Chemex. They're pouring in nice, small, controlled circles. I just want to get the job done, so I just pour it in, I just wait for it to fill up. I don't have time to stand around and, and get all artsy and hipster with it. We just, we just need that. We need that hit of caffeine. All right, look at that. You want it to kind of look a little like urine. Grab yourself a mug, make sure it's a hipster mug, and enjoy a nice, rich, well-balanced cup of coffee. Like Peter McKinnon. I'm definitely not drinking this. That's not how you, that's not, that's not at all how you make coffee. <laughs> I really went all out on that. So in all seriousness, I do get asked how to make coffee all the time. With that little bit of fun out of the way, I actually was just recently at James Coffee, who I've partnered with on my own blends and merch and stuff like that. And I figured that would be the best place to properly show you guys with some tasty B-roll how I actually make coffee every single morning using, in fact, a Chemex. This is that video. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, welcome to Peter McKinnon's How to Make Pour Over Coffee. You're gonna need a Chemex, that's this funky Walter White looking contraption. You need a gooseneck kettle, which gives you that precise pouring ability. You need coffee, obviously, a scale to weigh and time out your brew. You gotta boil some water, fold out some filters, get that ready to go, and you wanna pre-wet the filter. That basically gets rid of that paper taste and warms up the Chemex before we start. Once that's done, go ahead and drain that and then we're gonna put our coffee grinds inside, but we gotta grind them first. So you want about 48 grams of coffee. Make sure you weigh it, that's important. And then grind it to like the consistency of some kosher salt. That's kinda how you know if you got it right for pour over coffee. Once that's done, you're gonna dump the grounds inside the Chemex, even it out so it's a nice even top. Then we're gonna pre-wet the coffee and let it sit for about 30 to 45 seconds. That's called the bloom. Now what's happening now is all the gases are getting released from the coffee and that starts the extraction, that starts the brewing procedure, if you will. From this point, you're just gonna start pouring slow circles over the top. You don't wanna hit the edges. If the edges, then it starts getting weird and it gets jammed up at the bottom. We want an even flow all the way down, soaking all the coffee. Now this brew time usually takes around five minutes. It varies depending on your personal preference. But once you've finished, go ahead, ditch that filter, give it a little shake to let in some oxygen, and you, my friends, have just made one delicious cup of coffee using a Chemex, and uh, your life will never be the same. Legitimately, probably just ruined coffee for you, no matter where you get it now, unless you're using this method. So it's bittersweet. I mean, the coffee's the, the sweet part. The bitter part is everything else.
Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you in a minute. Not having the best luck with glass today. Totally not intentional. 